And we begin tonight with breaking news out of Waterbury. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Brent Harden. And I'm Jen Bernstein. Police providing an update on a homicide investigation. That's after a woman was found with injuries, then pronounced dead on the scene. It's the city's fifth homicide of the year. Fox 61's Tony Terzi is live in Waterbury now with more on what happened, leading the uh, woman to die in the middle of the street. Tony. Brant and Jen, good afternoon, everyone. Here at Waterbury Police Department, they detailed what they say was a gruesome scene, according to the police chief. The chief says that they have in their possession now at the police department in the evidence room as part of this case, several knives and a machete. A woman was able to escape her home, but died out front. Waterbury firefighters returning from a call to this firehouse on Willow Street got a surprise. They saw a female that was in distress in the roadway. Um, they went uh, and uh, investigated that particular incident and realized she needed medical attention. Police say the victim, 24-year-old Moesha Watson, had been stabbed inside her townhouse at 428 Willow Street during a domestic dispute with her husband, 28-year-old Ainsley Panton. At some point during that domestic violence incident, uh, Ansley Panton did stab Moesha a number of times throughout her body. Panton was charged with murder and two counts of risk of injury to a child because the couple's three and five year old children were home during the attack, which one of the kids witnessed. This was a, a very gruesome, uh, very violent scene. Yeah, but I heard somebody so crying so hard. The owner of the store next to the scene tended to the victim but was still too distraught to appear on camera today. Fight to come fast, but she do for the CRP, you know. CPR, yeah. Yeah, but no, the lady died in the, in the middle of the street. One resident of the neighborhood simply stunned. I heard those kids crying. I heard those kids crying. Police say two other children live in the residence, but they were at school at the time of the incident. Now, the store owner tells us that uh, she saw the victim, Moesha Watson, or he saw the victim, Moesha Watson, struggling to try to lift up the garage door. She was able to stumble out of her garage, but then just a few feet later, as she appeared to be trying to make it across to the fire station, she collapsed and died shortly after. We're live here at Waterbury PD, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.